What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to use the TTM squeeze and how to use it to find high probability setups. But real quick, before we get up into the video, what I need you guys to do is make sure to click that like as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon. It would mean the absolute world to me. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. OK, so like I said, we are going to be talking about the TTM squeeze, and this is by far my favorite trading indicator. I've been using it for years, and I would say that the TTM squeeze plays a role in like 90 percent of my overall trades. So if we bring this chart right on over here, as we can see, we have this TTM squeeze indicator down here. Now there is a free edition, but there is also a pro edition. So if you guys do want to check out the pro edition, I will be leaving a link down in the description. Basically the difference between the pro edition and the free edition is on thinkorswim. If you're using the free edition, you only get the green dots and I believe the red dots. Uh, but with the pro edition, you get the orange dots, which is very important, black dots, these up and down arrows, the colored candlesticks, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at a chart of Microsoft on the one hour time frame. Now, basically what the TTM squeeze indicator is, is it's a mixture of momentum as well as the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner channels. So basically to understand the overall momentum in the TTM squeeze, light blue is going to be very strong buying momentum red is going to be very strong selling momentum dark blue is going to let you know that the buying momentum is dying down and then yellow is letting you know the buyers are coming back into the market now to really understand where the momentum can go it's very easy what you need to do is you need to put on your 5 8 21 34 55 and 89 ema so typically if the 5 ema is below the 8 the 8 is below 21 21 below 34 34 below 55 and 55 below 89 this is what's known as a bearish stack and ideally you want to be looking for puts now on the flip side if the 5 is above the 8 8 above 21 21 above 34 34 above 55 and 55 above 89 ideally you want to be looking for calls so the very first thing i do is i try to understand okay do we have a bullish stack or do we have a bearish stack so if we're looking at microsoft in the last what is this like week and a half or two weeks we can see that the emas are stacked down so it's a bearish stack at the same time, we have the red momentum right here, which is basically double confirmation that Microsoft is bearish and ideally we should be looking for puts. Now, there are times where we can get the yellow momentum or we can get the light blue momentum when the stock is below the moving averages. If that's the case, as long as we continue to hold below the moving averages, this squeeze will go back to dark blue and then dark blue will go back to red and we will continue to sell off vice versa to the upside sometimes you will notice that we get red momentum or even dark blue momentum when we're above the moving averages but if we continue to hold above the moving averages more than likely it's going to go back into yellow and yellow is going to go back into light blue so if we have light blue and the stock is above the moving averages more than likely that stock is going to continue to push we can even have yellow and be above the moving averages more than likely it will continue to push so we have a bullish stack yellow momentum or light blue momentum the odds of this thing going up are a lot higher than this thing going down now at the same time we have red dots orange dots black dots and green dots Basically, what I like to look for is going to be the red dots and the orange dots. What those are, those are going to be your high compression squeezes. So imagine you take a Ziploc baggie, you blow into it, you twist it up. Eventually, that Ziploc baggie is going to pop. And that's essentially what a squeeze is. So a recent example of a swing trade that we took in the Discord server was on TCOM, T-C-O-M. So if we're looking at TCOM on the daily time frame, you can see that we have these red dots and these orange dots. Again, this is letting you know that a big move is going to be made once the squeeze releases. So if we piece that together with, okay, TCOM is above all the moving averages. It has light blue momentum with the red and orange dots. More than likely, this squeeze is going to fire up and we can take advantage of that. So as we see, this was a beautiful move to the upside. Now, at the same time with the momentum, I forgot to mention this, but when the dark blue bars are shrinking, that's letting you know that the buy momentum is, you know, dropping a significant amount. When the light blue bars are growing, that's letting you know a lot of buyers are coming into the market. As the red momentum grows down, that's telling you the sellers are increasing. And then as the yellow comes in, that's letting you know that the sellers are decreasing. 
and the buyers are coming back in. So the size on the histogram lets you know the strength or weakness behind the move. So as we can see with this TCOM example, again, we're above moving averages, orange momentum. And what do we notice with these light blue bars? Well, they're growing before TCOM even breaks out. That's letting us know that the momentum is picking up and this squeeze is more than likely going to fire up. Now, if we go on over to QQQ today, I think it had a, I wanna say it was a 30 minute squeeze, yes. So if we're looking at QQQ, yeah, we can take advantage to the upside, but ideally we want to look for this 30 minute squeeze to fire down because you can see we're still holding below the moving averages. So QQQ right now, we are in that orange dot squeeze. We did get the very first sign of dark blue momentum, which is more than likely going to turn red. Again, if we continue to hold below these moving averages. So odds are if QQQ breaks below 302.79, this orange dot squeeze is going to fire down and we're gonna see lower lows on QQQ. So now, if we piece this into you know day trading perspectives or even swing trading perspectives, I mean, Apple's a really good example of this. I'll show you guys on a five minute, but Apple on the 30 minute, it was squeezing below the moving averages. Yeah, we have that yellow momentum, but as you can see, we went back to red, and now this thing is about to fire down. So again, below the moving averages, red momentum, red or orange dots, the odds of this thing going down are very, very high. Now, if we go to the five minute time frame, you can see Apple was holding above the moving averages today. Light blue momentum is growing to the upside. And then we saw a shot right into the daily high before it rejected. And now it's all the way back down here. So when I say a majority of my strategy really depends on just looking, are we stacked down, stacked up? Plus what color is the, are we in a squeeze? Uh, what color is the momentum? That's like a majority of my overall strategy. So every single morning I go live here on YouTube and I do this exact same strategy every single morning. I pull up a one hour time frame, a four hour time frame, and then a daily time frame. And I identify, okay, are we stacked up on all these time frames? Are we stacked down? And what color is the overall momentum on the squeeze? Now, also with the pro edition of the TTM squeeze, there's other things you can get. So we also have this ready aim fire indicator, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But my favorite thing about the TTM squeeze pro is first off, you know, the TTM squeeze itself, but these colored candlesticks right here. The reason I like the colored candlesticks is because we can have a light blue candle, even though it's a red bar. So it's more so like a psychology thing, or we can have a light blue bar, or we can even have a red bar during a green bar. So if you're in puts, you're just going to look at this and you're going to assume that it's red. So it's helped a lot with my overall trading psychology. But also what I really like is these candlesticks, they'll turn green and it's basically going to tell you which way that squeeze is going to fire. So when you see the green candlestick, that's basically the TTM squeeze pro like telling you, yeah, you should get into this trade because the squeeze is about to fire. So if we're looking at TCOM going the day that we actually entered the swing was right here. So again, we have the light blue bars. They're growing orange dot, red dot, orange dots, and then we get the green candlestick right here, which is saying like, yeah, get into the trade. This squeeze is ready to fire up. So I really like using the colored candlestick. Again, psychology reasons, and then it gives you that early entry. So it's called the early in and out indicator. And then you also have the ready aim fire indicator. So basically what this does is it lets you know when that squeeze is ready to release. So if we're at this middle point right here, and again, we're in yellow momentum or even light blue momentum. And basically with this thing, what I'm looking for is this middle line or even down here at this negative 1.2 or above 1.2. So when we get sell signals above 1.2, that's letting you know that the stock is more than likely going to pull back. When you get buy signals around this midline right here, especially if you're above moving averages, uh, yellow momentum, light blue momentum, uh, orange dot, red dot. Now the odds of this thing firing up are very, very high. Or if we're below the moving averages and we get this strong sell signal. And again, we have dark blue momentum, red momentum. And this thing says, yeah, it's going down more than likely that squeeze is going to fire down. So you can see that's exactly what happened with TCOM right on over here. And again, you can use this on an intraday time frame. You can use it on a higher time frame, like a weekly or even a three day. So if we're looking at the weekly of TCOM, you can see that we're squeezing. We get the buy signal right here. We start getting the green candles basically saying like, yeah, you should get in long. And what happens? There goes TCOM. 
or even over here we didn't have like the red dots on the squeeze but we had the dark blue momentum it gave the sell signal right here tcom had a nice little drop down in price so now let's see on an intraday time frame let's go on over to something like maybe nvidia so if we're looking at nvidia on friday on the five minute time frame again the ttm squeeze pro it comes with these arrows right here they basically try to help you understand which way the squeeze is going to fire so when these pop up with the down signal and the stock is below the moving averages and it's squeezing the probabilities of this thing firing down are very very high plus on top of that you also have a double sell signal on the ready aim fire indicator so everything right here is confirming that he, that nvidia was going to drop in price um if we go back to apple on the 30 minute let's take a look at that today so if we look at apple on the 30 minute time frame you can see that we ended up getting the sell signal on the ready aim fire we're below all the moving averages and we have the red momentum on the ttm squeeze so again the odds of apple firing down are a lot higher than apple going up in price so that is how i use the ttm squeeze pro in my overall swing trading and day trading strategy Again, if you guys do want more TTM Squeeze videos, make sure to comment down below. I will definitely make more in the future. I mean it when I say it. I've been using this indicator for years, and it plays a huge role in all of my trades. So if you guys want more content on the squeeze, comment down below. I also talk about it in my trading book, The New Age of Technical Analysis on Amazon, if you guys want to secure that. But other than that, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Everybody have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.